Hello everyone, today we're going to make another rack of ribs. I have the same style ribs as last time. They're the pork spare ribs. And we're going to be doing them pretty much the same. As far as the time and temperature, that's not going to change. I am going to tweak some of the ingredients a little bit. But the big change um, is that I'm going to do it on my new uh, Traeger smoker. If you remember on the last one, I did it on the Weber. And it worked out great, but it was a real uh, chore trying to maintain that temperature. And you can do it, but um, like I said, it was a chore and I really wanted it to be a little bit easier. So I got this one, uh, this trader off of uh, Amazon, and it was considered used. It was only 278 and that's a pretty good deal down from like over 400 I've seen them brand new. And really, it was completely... Uh, brand new everything all the parts were wrapped um, all in its original packaging so um, when they say used I'm not quite sure what they mean uh, there was one dent on the inside I, you can't see it in there but there was a good dent on some of the piece on the inside but it, it's not going to perfect or affect the uh, performance very much so um, yeah so I'm going to go ahead and set this up we're going to turn it on we set it to smoke and I already, I haven't cooked on this yet at all. This will be my first cook. And um, all I did was season it, like they said, and ran it on high for 45 minutes. And so this will be the first, um, this will be my first cook. And uh, so I got that set on smoke. You got to let it go about five minutes till you hear the flame kick in. It'll make a loud, more of a roaring sound when the, flame kicks in and uh, then you can close the lid let it smoke meanwhile I'm gonna go back inside there and uh, show you the ingredients one other thing for the pellets I'm using I'm using the Traeger um, blend it's hickory maple and cherry so those are the pellets that I got they're all loaded up in the hopper here and um, that's ready to go I should probably have to fill in a little bit more we'll see how far it goes I really have never cooked on one of these before but I've watched uh, several videos so I think I know what I'm doing so I'm gonna go inside go over some of the new ingredients that I'm gonna try out and uh, get ready for uh, get the rib ready to go on okay so I went ahead and got the rib ready all I did not much trimming at all I just pulled off that membrane again just pulled it got up underneath it. This one was actually kind of hard to get started. I had to work with it a little bit, even poke it in there with a knife, uh, and then just got up underneath there and got a paper towel to get a good grip on it and pulled it back. So um, that was a little bit rough. Now as far as the method, again, like I said, I'm going to do a dry rub on this for two hours, then we're going to wrap it in foil with some uh, liquids and moisture for one hour. And then uh, for the last 25 minutes, we're going to um, coat it with the uh, barbecue sauce and let it bake on. So let's look at the differences that I'm going to make. Uh, first of all, I'm using um, two new um, rubs. This one, uh, I picked it up uh, because of its color, very bright color. So I'm trying to get a nice bright red color on there. So I liked it. It's uh, very sweet. Uh, more on the sweet side than salty side as a matter of fact and not a lot of heat on it So the other thing I'm going to add to is just a light sprinkle of this Texas peat dust and it's also even got a little bit of a Vinegar uh, effect to it too and if you want to look and see what that looks like let's see if I get it over in the light It's a very bright red between the two of those when I mix them so and another thing when I did this last time I used the bowl and the spoon to put the dry rub on and it made a few clumps by uh, Using that spoon so this time I'm going to keep them in the shakers I'm not going to mix it previously. I'm just going to do one layer of each and, a, and then um move on from that oh i also going to put some mustard on there first and i don't have that out right now uh, for the uh, foil wrap same ingredients equal parts um, apple juice whirl i've also seen people use parquet you could use parquet or just melted butter whatever you um, have on hand i really like the whirl so i'm going to use that and brown sugar so equal parts of all three of those 
we're going to wrap it in the foil for the last hour and then I'm going to mix these two sauces again I went with this sauce it does have a little sweet heat uh, heat to it it's really light which I like uh, but it's a very dark red sauce I really like that so and I'm going to mix that and, and and by the way this one's good but it's not a lot of vinegary in it uh, so this I'm going to balance it out with my shanes I'm getting a little low on my shanes but um, there's a lot of vinegar taste in the uh, shanes so these two mix I think will uh, work out really good so I think it's going to balance out the profile about the same as it was last time which was really good I didn't really have any complaints I just want a little more color that bright red color on the um, rib so I'm gonna go ahead and get the mustard out and we'll go through that step together alright so I went ahead and uh, did the mustard it's kind of a messy job so and it's only on the top for right now but I'm gonna do the top for you and then I'll do the other side um, the same way but off camera so I'm gonna go ahead and start with the uh, Texas peat dust and again just really light um, coating this is actually pretty spicy I don't want my uh, ribs you know to burn my lips or anything like that but I definitely want just a little background hint of heat so that's all I'm gonna do a nice light coating of that and then a little bit heavier coating of the sweet rub and again I'm kinda trying to keep the uh, shaker up high so it'll spread out more like I said the last time I made uh, the ribs I think the only problem was I using the spoon I had a couple big globs in there that really kind of just it just came out in the finished product which I, I is something I don't want so I'm gonna do the rest of the rib like that I'm going to also get down on the sides and all that. I'll use two hands to get all that in. And I'm going to let this sit for about uh, 30 minutes. It's really, really cold right now. I'm just going to let it kind of warm up and let the uh, rub uh, kind of sink in and do its thing before I throw it on the uh, smoker. All right, y'all. I'm just about ready to take this outside and get it on the smoker. Um, I just wanted to show you that bright red color that I was going for so that's really really what I was shooting for is that nice dark red and right after the wrap I'm gonna put just another thin layer on there just to keep it nice and bright red and uh, other than that everything else is gonna be pretty much the same and I'll show you each step as I go but I'm about ready to get these out there the grill is uh, all set ready to go so I'll have them out there in just a few minutes and we'll be back then all right y'all so I got it on the grill uh, it was sitting right at 275 before I opened the lid so we're gonna let that go for two hours on 275 um, it is starting to uh, sprinkle just a little bit I hope that doesn't get too bad and I hope that doesn't mess up my temperatures but as long as I can hold it around 250 and to 275 for two hours, um, we'll be good to go. So I'll be back uh, probably in two hours whenever we're ready for the foil wrap. All right, so you want to go ahead and get this uh, foil wrap uh, mixture ready to go maybe at least 45 minutes to an hour before anything else. You want to get that... Uh, brown sugar all dissolved and everything so uh, there's a half cup of the uh, remember we're just going to do equal parts half cup of the uh, brown sugar half cup of whorl again melted butter or parquet would also work and half cup of apple juice there we go and um, I'm gonna go ahead and 
give it a little whisk, but like I said, it takes a little while for that brown sugar to completely dissolve. Then it mixes up a lot finer. So um, get it going ahead of time. Let it set for a while. Then come back to it when you're about ready to use it. Give it a good mix and um, you're good to go. So I got that ready. I'm going to let that sit for a while. We got about another 40 minutes left out on the grill before we go out there and um, wrap them up. So we'll be back at that point. All right, y'all. We've been going for about two hours now. And uh, holding right around 260. I set it at 250, I got it dropped down to 220 for a little bit, then it went up to 289, so it kind of fluctuated, which I heard that's what they, the Traeger does, or even just any pellet smoker, but there you see it, after two hours, got some bend to it, we're going to bring it right over to the foil here. And I'm going to go ahead and mount the camera. Give me one second to do that. And I'll go get the uh, butter bath and get that ready as well. Be right back with that. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is just lay down a little of that butter bath on the bottom. Just to make sure. It gets all underneath there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put these um, ribs bone side up with the meat down. And basically pour the rest on here. All right, perfect. Alright, there's one layer. And then just to hold it all together, I'm going to put another one over the top. He's going to go back, right back on the grill, same temperature. Trying to keep it at about 275 for another hour. And I'm going to set that for an hour and let it go. Alright, so we'll be back at that point um, and for the final glaze step. So we've been on here right about one hour. We're going to go ahead and take them off. And uh, get them ready for the sauce. Let me get this uh, door closed. Don't want to lose all my heat. There 
There we are. They're looking really good. You see the bone. The meat's starting to pull away from the bone uh, a good bit here. These look perfect. So now what I'm going to do here is coat the bottom with just a little more rub. Keep that bright red color uh, shining through. And if you remember, I went ahead and uh, already mixed about half and half the stubs, the stubs, and the shanes. Right about half and half. Mix it up in a bowl. You can see it's a nice bright red. I really love that color. That's going to really uh, add to the look. And I'm just going to coat, nice thin coating, not too much. But I'm going to coat this whole side. Then I'm going to flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. But what I'm going to do is flip it over onto the grill and then do the other side right on the grill so uh, I'll do that off camera and um, come back for the next step once we're ready all right so there it is on the grill I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side nice little light coating of rub give it that nice bright red color bake on there for about 20 to 25 minutes and once it's baked on we'll pull it off take it inside and cut it up okay so I had this on about 20 minutes and they're looking right about done now normally I go about 25 minutes but uh, the temperature kind of spiked up a little bit so they were done a little bit sooner so I'm gonna get them off there I probably need two hands I'm gonna get them over to this cutting board actually I'll probably bring the cutting board to it and then I'll take it inside we'll let it rest for about five minutes or so and uh, cut into it and see how they look uh, so we'll be right back at, at, at that step all right so we got them in here they've been resting for about five minutes or so we're just going to go ahead and take a cut into this. There we go. Nice. Nice and juicy. Those are perfect. Let's see if I can't. Uh... bring that up to the camera a little bit those are perfect those are just perfect bone coming right off wow look at that nice and clean all right so those turn out just like the other ones um i feel like the smoker was a lot easier to cook on um uh, i just liked it a lot more a lot less i had to worry about these are perfect um, I'm not going to try them on camera. Like I said, I'll come back and give you an opinion right after I eat a piece. Alright, y'all. So, um, I went ahead and ate that one rib and honestly, it turned out just perfect. 
uh, just the right amount of heat nice and sweet smoky flavor can't uh, can't say enough about it. it really turned out perfect so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you give it a try and once again as always thanks for watching